dropping in here again, and I'm looking for Lucy. Are you Lucy? Do y'all know who Lucy is? Lucy is the little person that lives in my mind that was me 28 years ago. I, Lucy is that person that's been dreaming of starting a flower farm and is so excited. They are overcome with excitement. At the same time, they're totally terrified. Um, and that was me 28 years ago. So um, if you're in business already, you know, it's always good to have a person in mind when you are um, working your business. And for me, I named the Lisa of 28 years ago, Lucy. And um, Lucy is a beginner flower farmer. And I am here to say, friends, if you have not signed up, Lucy, if you're here, if you have not signed up for my free live masterclass on where to sell your cut flowers, you should do it now. Um, it's the place to start. Um, where you're going to sell becomes before you start buying stuff, buying seeds, buying bulbs by all means. And it's the place to find out where can you sell your flowers? Where should you sell your flowers? And that's what my master class is all about. And y'all, um, I just so don't want anybody to miss out. We've had thousands sign up and because I know this is a hot topic. That's the point of every flower farm in business, correct? To sell the flowers. And while people, there's rumors that there's too many flower farmers, there's not enough places to sell, I disagree. And I mean, that's just the bottom line of all my years of what I've seen and experienced. Um, it just means you haven't found your market yet. Um, and that's what this course is, this masterclass is all about. So I'm doing five free live masterclasses over the next 10 days. The first one is tomorrow. And um, when you sign up, you're going to get a PDF to print out. This is my worksheet, which you need to print it out and bring it with you. Because, friends, I am all about technology. Holy cow, my company has so much technology. But there is such amazing value in writing and having something to look at that you leave sitting on your desk. Um, I mean, I have paper all over. I mean, I have a home office I'm down here in the workroom. I have a studio upstairs. I have a warehouse with an office and there is paper everywhere and I couldn't survive without it. And that's what I want to help you with. So sign up, print out the PDF. You don't have to do anything to the PDF before. We're gonna fill this out. You're gonna jot notes on that as I go through. I'm gonna be covering, first off, I've been sitting here for the last, what time is it? Four hours going through my PowerPoint. I have a slide deck, right? Um, tweaking what I want to say, what I don't want to say, what did I forget, what am I supposed to do, which is what reminded me to come on here, right? Um, and so you do not need to do anything to this PDF. You just need to print it out. And then I am going to be going through, I'm going to be first off busting some of the myths right out of the gate about flower farming. And then we're gonna go over 14 different sales channels. And I mean, I am especially, Lucy, if you're out there, I'm talking to you girl or guy. If you are just thinking you wanna start a flower farm but you just don't know where you would sell your flowers, this class is for you. And it's also for you if you started last year or the year before but you just aren't selling your flowers. Um, this class is for you. It's for anybody, but that's who I made this class for. I really want to help people leverage and think outside their box. We're going to go to the 30,000 foot view, friends. And in fact, there's a great little, anyway, I can't go down rabbit holes, y'all. You know how bad I am about that. So I'm going to be reviewing 14 different sales channels. And when you show up live to the training, I will be dropping in your inbox two PDFs that cover all the details of my members only on farm private market that I ran from my farm for 25 years. It was a huge part of my business. I totally designed this to keep me in alignment with my city ordinances. I probably live in one of the tightest city rule places of anybody. And I found a way to get around, to be legal, 
and to be able to sell flowers from home, to have customers pick them up. And we just took that to the limit. We just went over the top with it. And I'm giving you, the people that show up to the training, those PDFs. It's two different PDFs. One is all the, the text that you need to promote and sell this market. The, it was literally what we had on our website. All the tips, ins and outs. Then I sat down with my sister who ran the market with me for 25 years. And we made a bullet list of all the points of the things of the behind the scenes, how we did it, what we did, those kinds of things. And you're, I'm giving that to you for showing up to the live training. And so you need to sign up. There's five different live classes. I've done them at different times of day. I'm doing one at eight o'clock at night. Tomorrow's is at two o'clock. Um, and I just want you to be there. And if you're my Lucy, Lucy, if you're there, I really want you to be there because this master class is going to put the selling jitters to bed. And I will tell you that, you know, um, so y'all, without me going too deep down a hole, y'all know I'm dyslexic. A dyslexic, one of, a characteristic of a dyslexic is that most often they are the best public speakers. And it's because we don't consider consequences. We just jump. We're jumpers. We take, they're the most, some of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world are dyslexic, y'all. And it's because we just think we can do anything, right? And so me being a public speaker um, is kind of hysterical that I suffer of, from fear of the simplest things, um, but I'm not afraid of doing that because you know what they say? People's fear of speaking publicly, they're more afraid of speaking publicly than they are of dying. That's, I mean, that's not me. That was scientific. That's real facts from somewhere. Well, you want to know what I think is the second thing that people are as afraid of than almost as much as dying is selling, selling their flowers because you're afraid people are going to say, you want how much? You're, why would I want to buy your flowers? You're selling that? I know y'all, all these have played out in my head and I can squash them. Um, and it starts with the confidence of where to sell your, because when you know where you're going to sell your flowers, the rest of the business story falls into place. And so sign up for the free live masterclass, one of the five. And I know there'll be, Lucy will probably come to all five. I'm pretty sure. You know, Lucy is my girl. She's the one that I, or guy, person, I should say, right? Because um, we have some spectacular flower farmers, men and women, right? So sign up. The name of the class is Where to Sell Cut Flowers, Finding the Market that Fits Your Farm. And friends, I'm going to be going through those 14 sales channels, talking about the pros, the cons, and maybe the assets that are needed. Um, and that's not even all of them. You know, it's like those, I pick those ones that I would consider for me to be a consideration. And that's being a city girl um, and me being Lucy, me 25 years ago, really taking a look at what you have available to you and what can you sell. Because friends, it's not about starting at the top of the game. You don't want to wait to start your business until you can buy all this mess that people think they need. It's about starting where you are and getting in and starting the business and bringing in money, starting some cash flow, build some retained earnings so you can buy stuff that you actually need. Because you know what I would be willing to say? A lot of the stuff that gets purchased by a lot of people before they ever get started really wasn't ever needed to begin with. I'm telling you, y'all. And I, yeah, I'm talking about bootstrapping. I bootstrapped because I had to back in the beginning right? But I am so glad I did. In fact, the lemons that I felt like I had been handed living in the city, not really having any money, couldn't have a greenhouse, still don't, didn't have a tractor, you know, and I didn't have acres. I felt like I was the worst potential person to be a flower farmer. And here we are 27 years later. So friends, if you're just starting out or you need to hit the reset button um, or you just want to watch, sign up to the master class, Where to Sell Cut Flowers. Tomorrow, 
kicks the day off. Um, and you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss my PDF on my member. I will say that I think that my members only um, on farm market is brilliant. And I'll tell you where I kind of got the idea from, you know, the book that really helped me understand farming more than anything else in my entire career was Elliot Coleman's um, book, The New Organic Grower. And he just mentioned in there something about um, uh, this kind of program, but it was totally different applied. And I just went to work with my mind, just running with how can I be legal with the city? I mean, literally the heads of codes and compliance for my city of 200,000 lives down the street from me. I mean, he drives past my house every day to go out to work and to go anywhere. So it really is an option and it can be tweaked. And we're going to talk a little bit about how it can be tweaked to different um, needs and wants. So friends, please join me. I've got to go in and eat lunch and I've got to come back and I'm going to do another run through on my slide deck for the where to grow, I'm, I'm sorry, where to sell cut flowers. If you don't sell the flowers, you're just a gardener with a bunch of flowers. And that's the difference. So I think that most people put this at the end of their line of things to do. It should be the top. It should be the first. And, you know, you're not, let's face it together. What's the worst thing that can happen? You're not going to die. It's not going to bite you. It's not going to sting you. And it's not going to cost you anything. Let's figure out where you can sell your flowers. And that will start the peddling. All right, friends. I'm going to go eat a salad um, and then come back out here and run through. I mean, it just takes a whole village to make all this happen. And we're doing it for you, Cindy, right? So, Cindy, don't forget to sign up for the master class. And if you feel the need to watch it more than once, to sign up more than once, that's okay, too. All right, friends, till we meet again. I hope to see you tomorrow in the kickoff master class at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Let's see, that would be the 22nd, 2 o'clock Eastern time. You have to sign up to get the link, get the PDF, and invite a friend. After you sign up, scroll to the bottom of that page, and down at the bottom it says invite a friend to watch with you, and you can hit it, and then it'll come up so it's so you can share it with one of your friends. All right, friends. Um, so somebody just joined. Where are you talking about to sell flowers? I'm doing a master class on 14 different sales channels to sell the cut flowers that you grow. So you can actually um, sign up. I'm sorry. To get to the sign up, comment here. Dang, y'all. I'm totally forgetting to say this right. Sales 101. You can comment that here and we'll DM you. And you can also go to my website, thegardenersworkshop.com, and it's at the top of every page. So you can comment sales 101 and we'll DM you the link, the invite to actually sign up, or just jump on to thegardenersworkshop.com, and I will see you there, friends. All right, till I meet tomorrow, almost 24 hours, the first master class starts. And y'all, I am so stoked about this. All right, friends, ciao.